there you have it to run another workout block so this time we did well i did um i maxed out on the deficit deadlifts with 100 pounds of band tension at the top um which is what you just saw and i'm thinking into starting all of these blocks like this just with the max effort method or dynamic effort method and then just start with everything else or just probably the max effort method anyways so yeah um, I did the deficit deadlifts with 100 pounds of band tension. The way the bands are secured is basically just there is a plate, which is, which is also creating the deficit, so there is a plate on top of them, which is just holding them together, so in case you're wondering. Um, and for regular deadlifts, I'm just gonna probably put some tiles below the plates, so that that way I can sort of negate the deficit. At least that is my plan anyways. Uh, we will see how that goes. But, you know, for the next few weeks, I think I'm going to be focusing on deficits with pants for a little bit. Um, and yeah, uh, so after that, I did some, well, some backdown sets. For the backdown sets, I did them just with uh, 50 pounds of band tension. I did some with a belt and some without a belt. After that, I did some sumo RDLs. I did sumo RDLs because I've been doing conventionals for a long time, so I figure I may as well change things up for the next few weeks or so. Um, after that, I did some front squats. I'm still I'm still getting the hang of them, but uh, yeah, they feel a little bit uncomfortable in my throat, if I'm gonna be honest. But yeah, um, like I like them. I like them as a movement, and I'm gonna keep them in my uh, program for the next few weeks as, as well. Um, after that, I did some uh, split squats. I did them in the Smith machine just because I already spent a lot of time in the squat rack. So yeah. I, I, I don't know, just, I figure I may as well just move to the <laughs> to Smith machine. It doesn't matter too much, just for some unilateral stuff, and that's about it. And yeah, that's basically about it for this workout. Um, after this, I did some apps as well with the app wheel, but I didn't record that. And I also did a little bit of cardio, mm, just like 10 to 15 minutes of low intensity cardio. And yeah, uh, in case I haven't mentioned this before, I think I'm gonna keep the variations about the same for like three weeks, and then I'm gonna be changing some depending on how on my history with them and stuff like that. So we will see how this uh, continues. But uh, yeah, see you next time.